you've got your Gen 8, your Gen 9, or your Ascent out there, right? You're playing around, having a good time, and one end stops pulling, okay? The drive shaft is turning, but man, that shaft is kind of sticking out of the axle a little bit. It's like, what's up with that? The most common issue I've found on these is the screw that holds the pinion gear on that shaft comes off. So that's what we're going to repair. On this Fusion, it's the front. We're going to fix it and take it for a drive in this video. Let's get to the table. You can see right here. See this right here? See how far that's out as compared to the back? Nice and tight. So that is the issue. Now, typically speaking, this is a free fix. It just takes a little bit of time. And I will use a little bit of thread lock on that bolt. However, let's go ahead and get the cover off. We got to take the C-hubs, all that stuff loose. Let's get busy. Don't lose these. I got to admit, this is a really nice spool in this thing. And here we have the pinion gear. There's the screw. You can see that is loose right there. See if I can get this off. There you go, right there. See all that? So the screw just simply comes right loose. Oops. This is the input shaft right here. The actual drive shaft goes on this. The flats is where the pinion gear goes on, and this is the screw that's usually the problem. Now, this isn't always an issue with every one of these trucks, but some of them do. Huh. Get off of there. There we go. So long as the gears and all look good, this is a free fix. If you don't have any thread lock, you can just simply put the bolt back in and continue your day as long as you have all the tools on the trail. However, I've got some thread lock. And with a little bit of thread lock, you can just simply put it right back together. Now this is a small screw, so don't go cranking on it really hard. If you use a bunch of pliers and stuff on this, you could go too far. But just simply pull it about as best you can hold it without you know ripping your skin off and you're pretty much good to go. Just put it back together. My choice of grease is Cow RC Utter Butter. Um, it doesn't spin incredibly fast, so just simply add a little bit on there and you're good to go. It will spread through all the gears. Putting all this stuff back together was simply the reverse of taking it apart. And with that front end fixed up, you know what time it is? <laughs> time to drive. Let's do this. And here we go. Let's get this thing rolling. We're starting off with Lisa. Let's see what we can do with Lisa here. Look at that. Piece of cake. Now, I will tell you this. The gearing and all in this truck right here, when I'm comparing it to another vehicle, the gearing, the throttle up, all that stuff, because... I'm still running a stock radio, by the way. It kind of makes it a challenge for me driving one vehicle to the other. So, but regardless, beautiful. Now, there's a very specific vehicle I'm going to put this up against. And it does not like Hopper at all. But uh, we're about to get into that one as well. Because I think it's ready to go now that I've got some mods done to it. But... Oddly enough, the only mod this truck has are wheels and tires. That is it. Flawless. So the fix on this is virtually free. So it's not like it's going to cost you a whole lot to fix it. Let's see what we got going here. This one making the turn up. I don't think we're going to one shot it though. Nope. Oh, that was so close to going over. I got to get that back to come around here. Get that rotation. Might have got it there. Wow. Whoa, that went up the steepest part. Anytime you see the tire coming across that, that means it's on the steep side of things. Oh, oh. Wow, that was textbook perfect. Now this line over here is some of the newer stuff that I've got. 
concreted all this in. And this line over here is generally speaking kind of something you got to throttle up, kind of give it a bounce. So we're going to see, got to get that back in just right. Then we're going to go for it. Oh, not like that. Uh, we'll try it again. I think I have an axle housing if I ever break one spare. I'd like to get this, but I don't see it gonna happen. I'll put body clips in one day. Oh. Well guys, in this video, not only did we get a fix to the most common problem with the Red Cat crawlers, it's a virtually free fix. It just kind of stinks if it happens to you on the trail, you know? We gotta tear things apart. And it could be the front or the rear. It doesn't matter. I've seen it on both ends of it. Um, but you know, it's just one of them things. Maybe if you get the truck, tear it apart real quick. Just that, pop that screw out and put a little bit of blue thread lock on there and be done with it. Now, I did talk to Red Cat. They said that they're using a different thread lock in this most recent batch. So they are aware of the issue. So it's going to be taken care of. Now, I alluded to a versus or a side-by-side -side comparison about this thing versus another one. And I think I may have made it pretty clear. I mean, if you've been following the channel recently, I've got this other vehicle. And it is this guy right here. Now, I'm happy with where this vehicle is, but it they, they share a few things, like the flat skids. Uh, this has got a straight portal, but I know this right here has an issue on some things. When I do that video and I do the comparison, I'm going to try my best to choose neutral obstacles. I, like, I know for a fact this fusion will eat up the uh, Vanquish right here on Hopper. The Vanquish just has no business being on Hopper. It's horrible on Hopper. This right here will walk right up it. Um, there's a few other obstacles like uh, Cliffhanger, for example. Um, fusion, you saw it right here. This one has never got that. Um, the Fusion has also been up Crowley. This one's never got that. But regardless, when I do this video, I'm going to try to be as neutral as I can but still hit the good named stuff. So guys, check that video out when it comes out. Um, hit that description, check those links out, click on them, do all the wonderful things. And guys, I want you all to have a wonderful day because this is gonna be a good one. $400 versus 500. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. 400 with only wheels and tires. 500 plus, well, it could be a thousand dollar truck at this point. Anyway, guys, check that description, use those links, do all those things, and you guys have a great day. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships. If you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.